What's up, Mechheads? Welcome back to the Manic Mechie. Today, we're diving into the wild world of human machine interface. I'm hooked up to a MyAware EMG sensor, which I'll be using to control a servo motor, using nothing but my incredible muscles. So let's get into it. All right, guys, it's time for confession time. If you watched episode two, you saw me solder these headers, these three, this one right here, this one, and these two. These header pins are completely backwards. Yep, rookie mistake, I know. All these pins are soldered the wrong way, so I have to desolder them, flip them, and reattach. Moral of the story, double check your component orientation before soldering, especially for breakout boards. This will take me around 20 minutes to fix, but it was a pain I brought on myself. This is where the desolder wick comes in handy. You just heat it up, heat up the component you want to desolder, and stick it on there. and the solder will go through capillary action into the desolder wick. You might want to pull the braids apart a little just so it increases that capillary action. Let's add a little bit of flux paste, help this melt a little, and we're gonna try again. Just place the tip on the solder, Okay, we're all done. See? This is the side they were supposed to be on because if I, the way that I had them, they would interfere with the, uh, with the electrodes that go to my skin. So I'm just gonna clean it up with some alcohol and then we'll start troubleshooting this, see if it works. So what's a MyAware EMG sensor? The MyAware 2.0 is an EMG sensor. EMG stands for electromyograph. This means it reads the electrical activity of your muscles. You stick it on your skin with these sticky electrodes and flex. This outputs an analog voltage based on your muscle tension. Super cool, right? For our exoskeleton, that means we can control a servo motor to move a 3D printed joint. This is perfect for robotic nerds like us who want to build assistive tech. Okay. <clears throat> now that we got that out of the way, we have our header pins a little bent, but installed. Now, we have to Correctly connect the ground and the five watt power, the five, five volt power, ground and five volt power, okay? So what this does is, how, the way I'm doing it is I've got this five volt battery, battery pack and I'm running it through a breadboard. <clears throat> The reason for this is, this power source is much cleaner than running it from the wall. The wall outlet is not a clean source of power or voltage source. Okay, so now that we know that it's getting power correctly, we can start to set up the Arduino. So we've got the Arduino and the muscle sensor. So now that we know that works, we can start to work on connecting the sensor and reading signals from that sensor. Now let's talk about the code. Here's the plan. We need to read the EMG signal from the A3 pin and map it to the servo angle, which I've just chosen 90 degrees. Then we need the servo to move. First, we need to include the servo library. Then we define 
our servo on pin 9, which will send a signal on pin 9 whenever the servo is activated. Also, we need to establish a loop for reading the sensor value. As you can see, I've assigned the, the A3 pin for the sensor. In the setup, we want to start the serial at 9600. And in the loop, we want it to read the sensor value, which is done here. And if the sensor value is over 400, we want the servo to move 90 degrees. If not, or if it's under 400, we want it to reset to zero degrees. This needs some work and it might be causing the twitching. For debugging, I also added a serial print of the sensor value with a 10 second delay or 10 millisecond delay, just so I could see that the sensor was actually reading. You might have to calibrate your min and max values depending on how strong your flex is. Everyone's biceps are a little different, you know. Now, you should be able to flex your muscles and move the servo. I'll drop the code in the description and on Gumroad for free. Let's test it. Hopefully you can see that as I flex, see, as I flex, the screen is showing a line that's moving along with my movement. That's the first step. Awesome. So what I've done is I've connected the power, ground and five volts, and the raw outlet or output so that the Arduino can send the signal back to the computer and the computer can read my movement. Now I have to translate that into a signal from the Arduino to the servo. So hang tight while I wire up the servo. I'll be including all of these uh, setups and how to wire everything below. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you a working MyOAir sensor. There are obviously some bugs, but as you can see, when I, fix, when I flex, it goes to 90 degrees and then it goes back slowly. So let's hook it up. What you'll need, an Arduino Uno, a MyAware 2.0 EMG sensor, which is currently stuck to my skin with the electrodes. You don't want to mess around with this too much. You want to, if you're going to use it, leave it stuck to your skin because once you take them off, you'll need to replace the electrodes. Also, you'll need a servo motor. This SG90 is enough for our purposes. A battery pack. This is important because this will supply the, the clean power which means no noise and some jumper wires. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna hook up your MyAware EMG sensor to the Arduino. I'm using the A3 pin, analog three, to connect to the raw of the MyAware EMG sensor. Then, well, you need power, so red goes to red, which is the five volt supply, and black is ground. Next, you'll want to power your EMG sensor, which I will be using white for five volts and gray for ground. Make sure you connect these to the right position 
They're labeled on the back here. It says VCC and GND. So raised ground, which is the middle pin. And white is, well, sorry, it's not VCC, it's VN. So there we are. Once you're connected, it should light up like this. Put that to the side. Next, you want to set up your servo motor. I'm following a similar color scheme. White goes to power. Black goes to ground. And orange, in my case, I'm connecting it to the digital pin 9. I've already programmed the Arduino to have to read my muscle signals and output a signal to the servo motor so that whenever I squeeze, oh, let's see if this will cooperate with me. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I ran into this issue earlier. You do not want to connect the servo and the Arduino to the same place. Ground and five volts on the Arduino. That way it doesn't interrupt the flow of power to the, to the EMG sensor or introduce noise into the EMG sensor circuit. So as you can see, it's twitching. That's a little bug I have to fix, but if I, if I flex, you can see it's moving. I have to clean up the signal a little so it's not twitching so much, but you can see, you can clearly see that when I flex, it moves to the 90 degree position, not exactly, but 90 degrees from zero. And then when I relax, it goes back 90 degrees. If your EMG signal is noisy or weak, you can check these things. Make sure that your EMG sensor is set with the end near the end of the muscle and the mid toward the middle of the muscle or the belly. You also want to make sure that this reference electrode is placed on your, on a bony part of your body. This will just serve as a reference similar to a ground, basically. No signal here, and there's a differential in signal here. This servo control is just the start for my exoskeleton. Next step, we're gonna mount the servo to an exoskeleton joint and see if we can move it in sync with my arm. Eventually, we'll graduate to stronger actuators, maybe linear servos or pneumatic assist. I'll also try to print as much as I can on my 3D printer. Want to build your own? Next video, we'll explore adding multiple servos, integrating them on 3D printed parts. What do you want to see? More EMG, CAD, or 3D printing? Drop a comment below. That's it for today's Manic Build. If you like this episode, give it a flex, you know, a like. And subscribe if you want to see more 3D printing, robotics, and DIY manic engineering. Follow me on X and Instagram. Links are in the description below for more behind the scenes content. Let's build the future we want to see together. Until next time. Peace. I am Iron Man. Bow, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, maybe not yet, but coming soon. Today, we're diving into wild world. Wild world, wild world, wild world, wild world, wild world. Tres tristes tigres, tres tristes tigres, tres tristes tigres. Pancha plancha con cuatro planchas. Con cuántas planchas pancha plancha? Plancha pancha. Pancha plancha con cuatro planchas. Con cuántas planchas pa plancha pancha? Plancha. Con cuántas planchas plancha pancha? Plancha pancha. Plancha pancha. Ok. <laughs> I'm hooked up to a MyAware 2.0 EMG sensor, which I'll be using to control a ser servo, servo motor, servo motor, servo motor, servo motor, servo motor, servo motor, servo, 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 servo. My incredible muscles, I f***ed up again. Nah, la, la, la. Boom.